New question, the member from Nipissing. Thank you, uh, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Finance. The Toronto Star editorial headline read that the People's Guarantee, quote, deserves a serious look from voters. That's because it offers real solutions to make life affordable for middle class families. It deserves a look, Speaker, because the People's Guarantee offers real, much needed, and much deserved tax cuts 22.5% for middle class families. But instead of giving it a serious look, instead of acknowledging this is the path Ontario needs to bring real relief to families, Liberal members choose to repeat nonsense. Exactly. They know it's nonsense, and I hope they quickly realize, Speaker, how foolish they actually sound. Families deserve a lot better from you. Sure Mr. Speaker, why won't the Liberals Question. support tax cuts to middle class families? Thank you. Minister? Well, let's quote a few other things, Mr. Speaker. Um, using the numbers presented in that glossy magazine, uh, reaffirmed by Kevin Page as incoherent and frankly false, because they're not going to be able to achieve 22 percent tax cuts. Furthermore, Global Mail states this, the problem with the people's guarantee is that it is a bit too clever, fiscally risky, and economically incoherent, Mr. Speaker. They are not delivering a tax cut to the people of Ontario. In fact, they're going to deliver a net tax increase with the carbon tax that they're providing that is yes, twice yes. as much as what we are incurring today, Mr. Speaker. And the tax cut. The member from Simcoe Gray is warned. The question is what are you cutting? What amounts? What hospitals are you cutting? Are you going to cut pharmacare for people under 25? Are you going to cut tuition for those that are getting it free? Are you cutting health care and education? And the member from Etobicoke North is warned. You have one wrap up sentence. Their plan is all about cuts and deficits, Mr. Speaker. This, uh, this member has fought for balanced budget, ladies. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you. Well, I can tell the minister, back to the minister, what, what we'll be cutting are Liberal MPPs. That's what our Steve Pakin, one of the most Steve Pakin, one of the most respected journalists, had this to say about Kevin Page's review. Quote, one little sentence sets the progressive conservative platform apart. Quote, it's a thumbs up from one of the most respected economist, economic analysts in the country. And under the PC plan, middle and lower income families benefit the most. Only our party will put money back in here, their here. pockets. Here, here. That's the money to combat the unaffordable policies created by this government. Money for people who need the help most. Mr. Speaker, why is this government attacking our numbers? Is it because they don't want to bring tax Question. cuts to middle class families? Mr. Mr. Speaker, this is the same party that is not supporting Ontario families. The same party that is rolling back minimum wage. The same party that didn't support our plan to provide for more hospitals and nurses and education. It's the same family that voted against university free tuition, the same family that voted against free tuition and free prescriptions for those under 25. It's the same family that the theme party that the member from Renfrew Nipissing Pembroke is warned. Kevin Page in his notes made it clear that their proposal, their plan doesn't add up. That they can't be trusted because what they're proposing is a tax that will not be achieved by any Ontarian. They're misleading the province. They should The member will withdraw. I withdraw, Mr. Speaker. The member from Elgin, Middlesex, London is warned. Finish. A finance critic should take every precaution to be Answer. fiscally prudent and build contingency to their plan. They have none in this plan, and their guarantee will illustrate the fact that they should step down. Final supplement. Thank you, Speaker. Well, 
Obviously, the minister is reading a different book, Speaker, because Kevin Page calls our plan reasonable. That's something he could never call their plan, Speaker. Our People's Guarantee offers a 22.5% tax cut to middle-class families. Our plan offers an increase to the Ontario sales tax credit of $100. Meanwhile, the Liberal, the Liberal government demands higher taxes and higher fees. That's the way it always is, Speaker. They can't afford to pay their Liberal insiders any other way. But we think it's time to put the people first, here, here. not the insiders. Mr. Speaker, I ask one more time, why won't this government support tax cuts for middle-class families? Thank you. Talk to you. Can you see it, please? Can you see it, please? Thank you. Minister. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we have taken steps to support middle class families. That party voted against every one of those very measures, Mr. Speaker. And instead, they're pretending. I can do this all day because I feel fit. A member from Niagara West, Glanbrook, is warned. Carry on. They're pretending to provide tax cuts when, in fact, they're not. In fact, their plan is both a social and fiscal deficit to the province of Ontario. There's no prudence. They're going into deficits. They're putting in assumptions for $12 billion that they're not able to achieve. It's reckless, irresponsible, 